Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the new 2023 Tacoma in the TRD Sport Premium Package. One of our most sought after packages. This is a double cab with the six foot bed. They are a five passenger and they are a 3.5 liter V6 engine. They are going to be averaging 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined, which is 24 miles per gallon. They are able to tow 6,400 pounds with a payload of 1,105 pounds. So what I'm gonna do today with you guys is go over the exterior, the interior, answer any questions you guys have. And if you enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe and follow along as I have weekly Toyota video uploads. Let's go ahead and get started on this model. Here we go. All right, so here we have the Barcelona Red. And in the front end, we have fog lamps as well as LED daytime running lamps. Up top, we have the hood scoop. And along the sides here, we have your 17 inch alloy wheels with mud and snow tires front and rear mud guards there. This client got the running boards added as an accessory, a couple other things as well that I'll point out along the way. Just easy for getting in and out and makes it look pretty sharp. Tinted back windows. You also have foldable mirrors front and back with the blind spot monitors in them. Up top, he also had added on the roof rack with the crossbars smart key system with the proximity sensor up top the shark fin antenna and the bed light power back window have a 79 liter gas tank there also your ground clearance is I believe it's 9.4 inches another accessory he had added on was the rear bumper step which is really handy just pops right out easy to get up and into the bed of your truck and it just pops up out of sight there on the back end we have your hitch and the wiring harness just there another thing that he had added was the chrome tailgate insert you can also get that in black nice dampener on the tailgate there opens softly it does come with a composite lined bed. However, another thing he added was the rubber cargo liner. So, I'm sorry, rubber bed and mat. So that fits in perfectly, looks great. Helps keep things from sliding around. And again, protects it from spills, damage, anything like that. And the bed comes with the 400 watt power outlet. And use my other hand there. A little storage unit you can put your bungees, tie downs, anything like that. Bed cleats are up top. And that's exterior. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so starting in the back seats here, the Tacoma is one of the few Toyotas that we have that comes with real leather which is a nice touch. It has this unique um, emboss uh, pattern in the seating. Over here, we've got your cup holders and a map holder behind the passenger seat there. Another thing that was upgraded in this Tacoma is this rubber mat. So that's an accessory that he added on. It does come with rubber mats they're individual so it doesn't cover the bump in between the two back seats there this one's just a little bit more heavy duty it's got deeper grooves for catching moisture and dirt and whatnot just gonna show you underneath here we have a storage unit that goes underneath both sides really handy for keeping anything out of the way and up top here i'm just gonna take out the headrest a little awkward with one hand sorry there we go and pull this down got your hard uh, plastic liner here that goes straight across when you mirror on the other side there 
in the back some extra storage what's in there is the uh, tow hitch receiver so it goes in there also there's these two holes here so you can actually put the headrest in there so it's not just floating around taking a look over here we got your power windows mirrors and locks nice eight-way power adjustable driver's seat with a lumbar support again those upgraded rubber mats that kind of have a bit of a higher lip it does come with rubber mats just a bit different Tyler, Kyle, nice one, embossed Tyler, leather Kyle. on the front seats too so i'm going to go ahead and turn this on i've got my foot on the brake and it is a push button start And I'm just going to turn down the climate control here. So it is dual zone. We can both be different temperature on either side. You've got your fan speed in the middle, heated seats, high, medium, and low on either side there. Keep in mind on it's pretty chilly today. Got front defrost, AC. Down below you have a cigarette style charger, your wireless phone charger. So when this is on, you lay your phone down below facing with the screen upright. And if your phone's compatible with wireless charging, it will charge your phone. Here we have a USB port for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you are uh, plug in, then you can get Google Maps and whatnot on the screen. This button here is for your back window. Just a nice easy power slide open and close. Let some fresh air in. Blind spot monitors. I'm going to turn this off and then on so you can see what it looks like in your mirrors here. See those two dots lit up and disappear? That will light up every time a car comes up in your blind spot behind you, warning you not to move over. Handy for shoulder checking and making sure you don't run into anyone. Walking glove over here, lots of space in there. Vents are all adjustable. Up top we have your built-in navigation. It's all touch screen, really easy to play around with. You do have three years of free map updates on these guys with us too. Otherwise your home screen has your music and your phone if it's connected. You can have your four favorite contacts up on the screen. Up top here we have your garage door openers and an auto dimming rear view mirror uh, feature there too. Top you've got your cigarette or cigarette your sunglasses holder and your buttons for opening and closing your sunroof either having it vented or having it go full back and you can stop it anywhere along the way too otherwise you have a manual shade cover over here pull down this guy and voila got lights with your mirror very handy we have your leather wrapped steering wheel and these buttons are going to go through your display. So depending on what you want to see on that screen, whether it's your digital speedometer, your average fuel economy, which is going to be wrong because we're only eight kilometers old and we're just sitting here idling. They should average about 11.9 liters per hundred kilometers combined. You've got your compass, your music, your uh, cruise control, your warning messages, and safety features like pre-collision system, lane departure alert. So the lane departure alert is on here, easy to turn on and off. Dynamic cruise controls back here. This button determines the distance between you and the car in front of you. And this is a home button. So if you wanna go back to whatever you preset as home, right now it's set to the digital speedometer. Over here we have the volume and presets for your radio stations. Mode will switch between AM, FM, SXM, and Bluetooth. Little dock button for your navigation or your phone. Answering and hanging up phone calls there. Down below, you've got traction control. We've got your bed light. We have the 400 watt outlet in the bed. And we have auto dimming uh, high beams so when you have this feature on and your high beams in the on position your high beams will automatically come on when it's pitch black and they'll turn off with oncoming lights or tail lights 
fog lights there, wipers, again, power windows, mirrors, locks, all standard and one push and one pull for popping them up and down. Even, no, just not in the back, only in the front too. Got your mic up there and got a couple of grips for getting in and out on the back and up top there too. So, in your glove, you have a couple of USB ports, not to mention a manual e-brake. When you put it in reverse, nice big backup camera. You can see I left the temporary plate on the ground back there. And you have triptonic gears, so you can change gears manually. And so that is the interior of the new 2023 Sport Premium Tacoma. All right, so what did you guys think of the new 2023 TRD Sport Premium Tacoma? I would love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along for weekly uploads. And again, I'll have uh, lots of 2023 models coming in shortly here. So I've already got some lined up to load. So follow along and until next time, take care.